Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Fluffle Frightfur Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for March 2024. Always love updating the Fluffle deck. It's one of my favorite fusion decks to play out there, just for the variety of fusion monsters that you can play in the deck, the overall consistency with getting your materials needed for your plays, and then the vast variety of the card effects that the Frightfurs can do based on destruction, and then just power-up plays for all the different fusion monsters you can summon out. That seemed to be a big thing theme with the decks from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, where you would just be able to summon out a bunch of monsters of the same type to the field, whether it was the Synchros from Super Heavy Samurais, the Xyz monsters from Raid Raptors, or the Fusion monsters from Fluffles. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and get started with the main deck monsters. For our Fluffle monsters, I run three copies of Fluffle Bear. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to set one toy vendor directly from your deck and your spell and trap card zone, or you contribute this to target a polymerization in your graveyard, add to your hand. You only use one Fluffle Bear effect per turn, and only once that turn. But the main play is to set up your toy vendor. This is a very important card. Do utilize with cards like Fluffle Wing or just being able to grab more Fluffle monsters that you draw in Special Summon because then you can activate these same plays because a lot of them have card effects when they are Special Summon from the hand, which they will be when you use Toy Vendor. So Bear's a definite three of just for its search. Same with Fluffle Wings. In terms of draw power, Wings is one of the best cards to make use of in the deck. If this card's in your graveyard and you control Toy Vendor, you can Banish this card from your graveyard to target one Fluffle Monster in your graveyard. Banish it. If you do, draw one card. Then you can send one Toy Vendor you control to the graveyard to draw one card. So this will give you a draw too, but then you also get the search effect because when Toy Vendor is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Edge of Sabers or Fluffle Monster from your deck to your hand. Having the initial draw too, and then a search after that as well, thanks to this card. And all you have to do is use it for a fusion play as one of the better ways to set it up in the graveyard, or you can even use it as a discard off of Toy Vendor to begin with as well, since you do have to discard one and to get the draw card from the effect of Toy Vendor. Another one of our three ofs is Fluffle Dolphin. We have the option, you can target a Toy Vendor in your graveyard. Set it. If you do, send one Fluffle Monster or one Edge of Sabers from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard as fusion material for a fusion summon, you can shuffle it into the deck, one of your fusion spells or polymerization spells that is banished in your graveyard. So with this card for the play, it's more recycle power as well, being able to shuffle it into the deck, one of your fusion spells, just for being able to then reuse them again. And then also just being able to recycle your toy vendors also for this play. And one of my other, you know, favorite plays to go into the deck with is the boss. Bahamut overlay play because then you can go into totally awesome as well using it so you can use either the fluffle dolphins or the fluffle penguins which i also run three copies of you have a draw to discard one option when used for the fusion play and another special summon option to make use of making it easy for our water monsters to then be able to on you know be summoned onto the field and if we don't have the fusion power overlaying into a bahamut shark and then a totally awesome is just a good added backup exceeds play to use for some of the lower numbers for our Fluffle Monsters, two copies of Fluffle Dog, when it's normal summon or specialed from the hand, you can add one Edge of Sabers or one Fluffle Monster from your deck to your hand. So it's search power, but you have to make use of the actual you know, summon of this card. So if you can get off of Toy Vendor, all the better, because then you'll get that monster on the field, plus the additional search off of Fluffle Dog as well with the last of our Fluffles being one copy of Fluffle Owl. When it's normal or special summon from the hand, you can add one Polymerization from your deck to your hand. You can pay 500 life points to fusion summon one fried for a fusion monster from your extra deck using monster from your hand or field as material. So whether you use the search effect or the fusion effect, you can only use one, like a good variety of the Fluffle monsters before, of Fluffle Owl on the field. For our Edgeimp monsters, we run the one copy of Edgeimp Sabers. This card can be easily set up in the graveyard or just searched out. That's why we're only running running the one copy to begin with, and then just utilizing the top of the deck play, which adds your sabers to be summoned back. You place a card from your hand on the top of the deck, so if you place that card, you can then use the toy vendor knowing what you're going to draw and reveal off of it to summon out that monster. And three copies of Edge Imp Chain. When this card declares an attack, you can add one Edge Imp Chain from your deck to your hand, and if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Fright for a card from your deck to your hand. So being able to add cards like our Fright for a Patchwork, which can give us a polymerization, and an Edge Imp Search as well, can just add the additional card when we use Edge Imp Chain for a Fusion Summon. And also the three copies of Edge Imp Scythe. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can reveal this card in your hand. Fusion Summon one Fright for a Fusion Monster from your extract. Using monsters from your hand or field as Fusion Material. 
including this card, in your hand. If a Fright for a Fusion material you control would be destroyed by that or a card pick, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So you have a faster paced fusion play in the form of this card to be able to summon out your monsters onto the field. So this is one of the better ways just to utilize the fusion since during your opponent's turn. Being able to go for a fusion play that can then in turn also destroy your opponent's cards if you were to summon out some of the better setup for your fusion monsters as well from the deck to the field, depending on the one you want to go for. One of the best ones to use with Edge of Scythe, though, is the Fright for a Cruel Whale, just needing the one Edge of Monster and the one Fluffle Monster, and then being able to destroy one card on both players' field when it's fusion summoned. And then I also run the three King of the Swamp for the Polymerization Search, or just being able to substitute it for one of the needed fusion materials for the specific cards of the deck. A lot of them just requiring specific, you know, edge of monsters like Fright for Tiger needing edge of sabers, or cards like Fright for Sheep needing edge of chain. So if you already have the Polymerization Search, King of the Swamp can at least meet that requirement for that monster if you don't have them in your hand to begin with. And for the spells, three copies of Toy Vendor. Once per turn, you can discard one card to draw one card and show it if it's a fluffle monster. Special summon one monster from your hand, otherwise discard the card you drew. And if this card's sent to the graveyard, you can add one Edge of Sabers or fluffle monster from your deck to your hand. So once again, as I said before, it works very, very well with the fluffle wings play. Being able to have this card in your graveyard, banish it, send the Toy Vendor to get an additional draw two, and then a search off the Toy Vendor. But this is also just a great way for your discard to set up cards like the Edge of Monsters in your graveyard for you to then use with your other spells in the deck for banished plays from the graveyard like our Fright for Fusion, which can then be recycled back into the deck thanks to Fluffle Dolphin. Also, three copies of Fright for Patchwork. You add one Edge Monster and one Polymerization from your deck to your hand. So just an additional plus off of this search spell. You can activate one per turn, but grabbing Polymerization and the needed Edge Monster definitely makes this a three of, because once again, our important fusion spell in the deck is Polymerization, which we also run three copies of, just making full use of our go-to fusion spell, which can also be you know recycled with cards like Fluffle Bear from the graveyard, searched off of cards like Patchwork, and then made to its fullest potential. If we can get searches off of it with cards like Edge of Chain when sent to the graveyard or just additional searches from all of our many different Fluffle monsters. With the rest of the Fluffle or Fright for spells being one copy of Fright for Repair, being able to return a Fright for monster from the extract to special summon a Fluffle or Edge of Monster from your graveyard, then being able to banish this from the graveyard to special summon a Fluffle or Edge of Monster from your hand. So this just helps to reset up the Fright for Fusion play by giving you back the monster that you used to originally make it. Fright for Fusion for more of a Miracle Synchro Fusion play from the graveyard and one Fright for Reborn to give us back a special summon of a Fright for Monster that we can then use in turn to summon out some of our bigger boss monsters like Fright for Sabretooth also. And then for the rest of the spells, three copies of Fusion Deployment. You reveal a Fusion Monster in your extra deck to special summon from your hand or deck. One of the Fusion Materials listed on that card. So we have some other you know, cards like Fright for Bear in the extract, which has Edge of Sabers and Fluffle Bear on it. So you can reveal this card to then summon out that monster. It does, you know, restrict you for only fusion summoning, but it's the majority of what we do in the extra deck to begin with. So it's really not a limitation for the deck. And lastly, the one copy of Fright for Jar. It becomes Toy Vendor while on the field or in the graveyard. You can discard one card to draw one card. Show it if it's an edge monster. You can destroy one card in the field. So almost like a reverse Toy Vendor with its draw and reveal. It's the 41st card in the deck. So if you want to run a full 40, you don't have to run this. It's just an added tech that I'm trying out in the deck to begin with. Moving on now to the extra deck, I run two copies of Fright for a Tiger. It has the destruction play when it's fusion summon, being able to target cards on the field up to the number of fusion materials used for its summon, needing Edge and Saber and one or more Fluffle monsters. And also, you destroy them, and all Fright you control gain 300 attack for each Fluffle and Fright for monster you control. Added power up for this card as well. You can only control one Fright for Tiger, but we run the two, so we at least have the attempt for two destructions against our opponent if need be. The same special summon power in the form of Fright for Sheep, needing one Edge of Chain and a Fluffle monster to make it. If it battles, your opponent cannot activate the effects, uh, card effects until the end of damage step. And if it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or in your possession destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can special summon it back on the field. You can only use this effect once per turn, but still, it gains 800 attack when it returns to the field, making it a 2800 monster. So a little more difficult to get over for your opponent also. Also, two copies of Fright for Sabretooth, being more the bigger boss monster, needing a Fright for, and then one or more Fluffle and or Edge of Monster, making it pretty hard to destroy if you use all the fusion materials required for it. But once again, when it's summoned, it can summon back Back another Fright for Monster from your graveyard. So if you use it as the fusion material, you can grab that Fright for Monster back into the field to use again. 
And then for the one ofs, one cruel wear for its destruction play, uh, Wolf, which you can get some pretty good OTK power if you're able to destroy your opponent's monsters with Tiger and then go into Wolf for the multiple attacks. Uh, Bear is mostly in here for the targets for fusion deployment. Daredevil for more of a bigger destruction boss monster. And also for the rest of the Fright for Monsters, one copy of Fright for Nightmare, another bigger boss monster on the field as well. And the one Fright for Kraken to finish off the fusion monsters, needing just an edge of monster and a fluffle monster once again for Fright for Kraken. And then for the rest of the extra deck, the one copy of Bahamut Shark and the Totally Awesome for the level 4 water monsters that you can overlay into Bahamut Shark if you don't have the fusion play. Getting out, Totally Awesome, and then just having an Omni Negate on the field, thanks to it. And lastly, the one Nightmare Unicorn. Once again, just with bigger Monster Swarm, just a pretty good link resource to be able to go into. If you want to try Cross Sheep so you can benefit from all the fusion plays and potential Exceed plays we do, you can always take out Nightmare Unicorn for that spot. And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, setup is key here, and it comes down to what you can reveal off cards like the Toy Vendor. But if you have some easier spec cards in your hand as well, you can get some easy fusion searches off as well. So let's say you have just the Edge of Chain, and then also the additional Fright for Patchwork, and also one of your Fluffle monsters. You can activate your patchwork as long as it doesn't get ash blossomed by your opponent. You can then use it to add polymerization and one additional edge of monster from your deck to your hand. You can then activate your polymerization as well for the play, sending edge of chain and fluffle wings to the graveyard. Using the two monsters, you going first can summon out your fright for sheep. The effect of edge of chain will then activate as well, being able to add a fright for spell. So you can then add the fright for fusion from your deck to your hand as well. You have the Edge of Scythe in your hand. You have the Wings in the Graveyard, which would benefit more if you have the uh, Toy Vendor, don't forget. But you do have the Search off of the Scythe as well, being able to reveal this card in your hand, a Fusion Summon, a Fright for Fusion Monster. So you could then, in turn, either go for the play. So with this Summon, you could have either gone for the Fright for Sheep, or you could have gone for the Cruel Rail, meeting all the requirements as well for the Destruction play, but also being able to use the uh, a potential attack game with either one but still you'll have the edge of scythe during your opponent's turn to then use for a fusion play with your fright for sheep to then summon out your saber tooth onto the field and then use saber tooth when it's fusion summoned to summon back the fright for monster that was in the graveyard using that play as well you can have a more powered up monster protection with both of these being two bigger attack points if your opponent were to destroy this monster to summon it back onto the field then being able to use your fright for fusion the next turn to summon out another fright for monster on the field and that's what basically the fusion loadup comes down to you have more of the draw power when you open up cards like toy vendor but if you're going for a basic fusion play you can still rely on that in the deck as well but that is it for the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out